good. It's Trap Savage TV, man. I'm back with another one out today, man. You know, everybody done got the news with Lil Zay Summer, man. Got caught with another switch. You feel me? I'm not going to say no retail theft because, you know, one of his guys got on the, got on the, uh, the net and said, man, that ain't true. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to put that in there. But, you know, just let me speak to y'all for a minute, man, because it seems like, you know, Lil Zay Summer is having... Uh, identity crisis man and you know a lot of our young youth go through this a lot of our young niggas go through this man you know what I'm saying I just I just watched this man get on live you know what I'm saying and it's on my channel and this dude said he gonna buy a Richard Millie you feel what I'm saying he got Richard Millie money he said it out of his own mouth now let me say this any nigga that got Richard Milly money, man, and you moving like a foot soldier, nigga, you bogus. You bogus. Because basically you telling yourself you just enjoying life for the moment, but you know you really finna crash out. Because, you know what I'm saying, pride and ego is a recipe for self-destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? Lil Zell Summer moving how he moving, moving like a foot soldier, moving like he got something to prove. You know what I'm saying? This is every man's downfall, man. This is every guy's downfall in life. I'm telling you right now. And I'm not no shorty. You feel me? That's This is every man's downfall. Because when a nigga gets some money, a nigga don't know how to go sit down. He don't know how to go buy a house and get some cars, get a woman. You know what I'm saying? Build your family and grow with your family. See, niggas don't know how to do that when you get them something. You see what I'm saying? And Lil Zell Sama is a prime example of a crash dummy, man. A dude that, you know what I'm saying? When he got caught with the first switch, he was crying. I remember I, he was in New York somewhere crying for, people, for help to get out of jail, man. But here you singing on songs talking about you really living like that, man. I don't buy it. See, this is the cap ass rappers, man, that you see in your, uh, on your TV every day, on the internet every day, man, got a lot to say, man, but a little to show, this dude is supposed to be way more intelligent than what he is, and then talk about somebody else, about what they doing now, Tiki finna take off, now it's time for Tiki to take off and take over, because now, that dude done got himself in the jam where he talking about somebody else that's, you know what I'm saying, selling out shows, you know what I'm saying, and everything else, man, you know what I'm saying, on a grind, man, you know what I'm saying, he on a grind right now, everybody rocking with him, I see the whole rack is rocking with the dude, you feel what I'm saying, so, you know what I'm saying, for a dude like Lil Zell Summer, man, to take a major step back like this because he want to run around and be a gangster, Come on, man. That's why you got dudes like Lil Deuce, man. Put them in position to go on and do out there and handle your business. But you as a boss supposed to go sit down. You supposed to, you supposed to keep the empire running. You supposed to be living below the surface, man. I don't never... That, this is why I can't understand these, these dudes that call themselves leaders and bosses. But they in the limelight more than the foot soldiers, man. I don't understand that. This generation is, 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 is muddy in the waters and the trenches. But niggas like me, man. That's why... You know, you gotta read the field, man, and see what's going on. When there's certain dudes on the field, you don't wanna go out there and play with them dudes because them dudes play dirty. Them dudes don't play by the rules, man. You know what I'm saying? That's like playing a pickup game and you got a lot of dudes out there that just hacking and fouling, man. Nobody wanna play with no dudes like that. You feel what I'm saying? And this is what this generation is. So, you, Lil Zell, I'm supposed to have somebody around him who can guide him somebody who can let him know man what's going on you supposed to have an advisor let me teach y'all something man when i went to the military look i graduated college man i went to the military and i learned sometimes you gotta sit back and you gotta learn things we don't know everything but when you go but when you go through different phases of your life you're gonna understand you're gonna see certain things your mind is gonna uh be open to other aspects of life man you know what I'm saying? This is what dudes got to do to survive and save themselves. You got to adapt. You know what I'm saying? Life is like the weather, man. You got to adapt. 
When it's cold outside, what do you do? You go in the house to get a jacket, man. When it get too hot, what do you do? You take off your shirt and cool off. It's the same thing like the trenches, man. You got to read the playing field. Y'all dudes don't know how to read the playing field, man. You know what I'm saying? No way you supposed to be riding around with switches, man. That's why you supposed to have two or three cars if you really got money like that. See, this is the thing like this. These dudes, somebody got money like that, but they don't move like it at all. These dudes don't move like it at all. And I'm trying to, and I'm starting to wonder, man, is this all a show? Like, is these dudes putting on the show for the for the cameras, man? Or is y'all dudes really got it, man? Because I'm a blogger, nigga, and I'm on my way up. And guess what? I ain't the brokest, nigga. Trust me that. I live in a house. So, you know, at the end of the day, you got to understand what you want out of this. People got to understand what they want out of this. People got to understand that life is a gift, man. And sometimes when you get a gift, you got to cherish it. Right? Lil Zell Simon had a gift signing with OTL, man. You know what I'm saying? But he's supposed to get on this grind. But he ain't doing it. He out here more worried about what's going on in the trenches. He getting sidetracked. You feel what I'm saying? Getting sidetracked by the money, getting sidetracked by he saying he's doing this and doing that. Yeah, but where's the results, man? And right now, he in a position to be exposed. You know what I'm saying? This see, situations like this expose you. Situations like this put a dude in the bind where he ain't got no, he ain't got no choice but to reveal his cards because he need to play them cards. You see what I'm saying? But if he was moving the right way, man, he could have sat back, sat on his money, you know what I'm saying? Made strategic moves, build your empire, whatever you was building, build your brand, you know what I'm saying? These are the things that you're supposed to be doing when you're not in the limelight, when you're not in the public eye. You're supposed to be behind the scenes building and creating. If you're not doing that, then you bullshitting. You feel what I'm saying? This is why you see a lot of rappers, they don't last that long because these niggas be hot for the moment because they bullshit. They tell everybody what they want to hear to get the gab and all that. But guess what? Two or three years later, the nigga done disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Because the nigga done fell off because he wasn't genuine, man. You got to be genuine in this shit. If you in these trenches, you got to be genuine with it, man. You can't be in these trenches, plan. And let me tell this, and let me tell y'all something too before I go, man, because I ain't even going to hold y'all like that. When you in these trenches so much and you get to a certain level of the game, it become political, y'all. And I'm telling you this from experience, from my family. This shit become political once you get to a certain point of the game. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no more, you know, low level street guy and all that. Because once you get to a certain level, guess what? Some niggas try to backtrack, but guess it'd be too late because you already been exposed to the people at the top. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why you see some dudes, once they get so far, they start seeing, they start looking at the players, man. And guess what? The players at the top be the police. The police is at the top of the game, man. So like I said, don't ever think y'all finna be in the game and don't think that the police don't know what's going on. Them is the niggas at the top. Feds is at the top. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all better do y'all homework, man. Like, that's what I'm saying. A lot of y'all dudes ain't did y'all homework. A lot of y'all dudes think y'all just finna be, wanna be big time, big level, top guys. No, man. The feds is doing the same thing that, that y'all doing, man. How you think they make money? How you think they buy shit that's off the, off the black market and shit, man? How you think, come on, man. Y'all, I'm, I'm not finna say too much, man. You know, but y'all gotta figure it out for yourself, man. I'm just letting y'all know. My name ain't Trap Savage TV for nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? But, man, listen. If y'all wanna talk to me, tap it to me one on one, man. Like I'm saying on IG, man. And then you, then I can explain it to you. Simple as day, man. It's, it's, it's not that hard. But a lot of dudes don't got no education. A lot of dudes don't got no common sense. A lot of dudes don't got no logic. You feel what I'm saying? When you in this game, you gotta have logic, man. You know what I'm saying? And you got to stay out the way. Live below the surface. Don't be anxious to go out to clubs. Me, I don't go to clubs. I don't go to strip clubs. I don't do nothing. I don't party. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what my family been into. I already know, you know what I'm saying? What 
we was past involved with and already know at the, in the when you in this game, you ain't never really out of the game. You feel what I'm saying? It might die down for you, but guess what? Until they feel like you dead or you in jail, guess what? You always a threat. You feel what I'm saying? Because knowledge is power, information is power. Once you get information and learn the game, man, look, guess what? You gonna sit on a lot of things. There's gonna be a lot of less friends that you gonna have because guess what? You don't want nobody flipping on you and turning you in. If you really out here doing crimes, and crimes is illegal, so you know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas out here is bluffing. A lot of these rappers be bluffing, man. You know what I'm saying? So Lil Zay Osama, man, you know what I'm saying? He really got to sit down and really tell himself what he want out of this, man, because he on the path of self-destruction real fast. You know what I'm saying? And I know Lil Durk is, is he going to put Lil Durk in a position, man, that you know what I'm saying? He gonna try to make some calls, make some moves, you know what I'm saying? And you know he well connected, so you know what I'm saying? We're gonna see if he get out of this one, then you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's looking bad for him, man. But I'm just telling y'all, man, keep y'all head up, man. Live below the surface. Don't be anxious to be out there. And guess what? If you fucking with a female, man, make sure it's a female that you trust. Make sure it's a female that you grew up with. Don't get no female that you just met and then start showing her what you got, man. Because guess what? When you show a motherfucker what you got, it's no longer a secret. You know what I'm saying? Hold your hat. Hold your military bearings. That's what they tell us on the military. Hold your military bearings, man. When shit get wicked, guess what? You got to hold this shit together because if you if you lose control, you can lose your life. You know what I'm saying? Take that with y'all, man, for real. You know, because at the end of the day... I don't want to see nobody in jams. I don't want to see nobody lose their life, but we got to do better. You know what I'm saying? If we really, really in it like this. But with that said, comment, like, subscribe, man. I appreciate the love and support. We're going to keep going up this love, man.